द एंड ऑफ सेकेंड वीक इज करेक्टराइज बाई अपेयरेंस ऑफ projections from the chorion of the developing embryo these projections are called primary chorionic villi you can see that small projections are appearing the these protrusions are referred to as primary chorionic villi these villi are very important they develop into the syncytiotrophoblast this is the layer of syncytiotrophoblast these pre these primary chorionic villi forms columns with the syncytial uh, layer the syncytiotrophoblast you can see here that they will develop and forms columns the extra embryonic mesoderm is divided into two parts one is the extra embryonic somatic mesoderm and the other is the extra embryonic symplanchnic mesoderm extra embryonic mesoderm lining the cytotrophoblast and the part this part uh, surrounding the amnion is called the extra embryonic somatic mesoderm there are this and this the other part surrounding the primary umbilical vesicle is called extra embryonic Splanchnic mesoderm. We will discuss its derivatives in detail in our uh, next videos, inshallah. So the development of the primary chorionic villi is thought to be induced from the induced by the extra embryonic somatic mesoderm. This chorion is thought to be composed up of three parts. One is the syncytiotrophoblast. This is syncytiotrophoblast. The other one is the cytotrophoblast. This is the cytotrophoblast, a layer of cells from which the primary chorionic villi, the projection of cells, is protruding out. So this is the second part. Third is this part of the extra embryonic mesoderm, which is called the somatic mesoderm. This is so. extra embryonic somatic mesoderm is also included in it so this is the chorion containing mesoderm cytotrophoblast and syncytiotrophoblast this is the chorion amnion embryonic disc and primary umbilical umbilical vesicles are suspended in this sac through the connecting stalk means these structures are suspended uh, uh, in this sac this is the sac through this stalk this is the connecting stalk so it connects you can uh, this is the if this is the chorionic sac these structures are suspended through this connecting stalk this is the connecting stalk which is connecting the these structures with the uh, chorionic sac the extra embryonic coelom is the primordium of the chorionic cavity and uh, now see what happens with the primary umbilical vesicle in humans primary umbilical vesicle is preferred over yolk sac because in humans it it does not contains yolk so yolk sac is preferred to be called primary umbilical vesicle so with the passage of time this primary umbilical vesicle pinches and due to this pinching it is reduced in its size like this and this part which is called remnant of the primary umbilical vesicle moves from here and goes there this is the remnant of the primary umbilical vesicle and so the extra embryonic coelom is divide is cut off
the primary umbilical vesicles giving off remnant of the primary umbilical vesicle and the extra embryonic siloam is splitted like this now it is also surrounding the remnant of the primary umbilical vesicle it was all about the second week of human development means when the embryo when the developing embryo is of 14 days it still contains bilaminar disc this is the bilaminar disc if we have a cut section of this structure here you can see this is the cut section of bilaminar disc from here you can see that it contains two layers one is the epiblast and one is the hypoblast this is amnion epiblast hypoblast and uh, uh, you can see that uh, a few cells in the hypoblast they enlarge and form a circular disc like structure and this is called the precordial plate this pre you can see there other cells are normal but these are expanded cells so this precordial plate is formed at the end of the second week means at 14th day uh, this is the primordium of the mouth of fetus mouth will be formed from the uh, precordial plate 